Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to install the very popular process maker to design your BPMN processes and other stuff uh, on Amazon's web services Elastic Cloud 2 and we're going to use a prepackaged Bitnami AMI and hopefully we will be done in less than 10 minutes so let's get started! All right, I am logged in into the AWS backend, the management console, and this is my overview for all my instances. And we are going to create a new instance. So we're going to head over to launch instances. All right. Um, and now we are going to search for process maker. And we find different places. Um, there are some managed instances and a lot of community AMIs. I am going for community AMIs and there are different different versions. So I will just go for a 3.2.3 on Debian Linux and let's go. Now we can choose our instance type. Um, how many CPUs and memory and I am going for this uh, T2 family, it's a rather small instance. The network performance is usually quite low. It's small, uh, but for the demonstration purposes, it should be fine. If you are planning on going live or a productive system, I would highly recommend going for a larger instance. But for now, this should be fine. So let's go and review and launch our machine. I will make some adjustments to the security groups since we want to access our machine via HTTP or HTTPS since this is a web application and I will say from anywhere so we can add this to our inbound rules and now we can hit review and launch the machine. Now you will be asked to either create a new key pair to remote access your machine. It is not done by a, a username and password, but rather with a public key, private key, key pair. Um, so you will have a username and use that very key pair. And I'm going to create a new one and I'm going to give it a name process maker key pair or let's call it process maker 3.2.3 key pair. All right. And make sure to immediately download your key pair. All right. And we're going to hit save. I'm going to copy that in a specific folder and I'm going to show you how to access that machine with SSH in a minute. So hit launch. And then let's see, it will take some time. Okay. And we can go back to our instances overview and that machine will start right here. And as you can see, I also have some machines running. You can give it a name like process maker. Okay, <laughs> process maker. And it will take some time until that machine is up and running. So in the meantime, let's head over to our key, key pair file and access our machine via SSH to actually get the credentials to log in into the backend of Process Maker. All right, uh, as you can see here, I copied that key pair file into a folder and we have to make one more adjustment to that file. It has to be read only, at least on, on Linux and I don't know if, if on, on Mac too. Uh, so I am going to have to modify the rights of this um, key file so it becomes read only. Let's check and we can see right here it is read only. And now we are ready to access our machine via SSH. So head back to your instances, copy the IP address. Da -da -da -da. and reopen your 
console and the command is ssh minus i then you have to provide the key file right here and now paste your ip address and hit enter and there you go now we're gonna have to accept uh, the authenticity of this host and voila we are online let's check out the file overview on that server and we can see there is one specific file called bitnami credentials and this is the file we need to check out um, because in this file we will have our username and our password for the backend this will also be the password for your mysql database um, and other components of that stack okay so let's copy that password uh, user will be admin and open and now you will usually get a security warning by your browser because the certificate you have is not a is not authorized by a um yeah like a real uh, uh, certification authority it's a self-signed certificate so your browser will uh, warn you about that but since that is our machine and of course we trust it we will accept the risk and continue and like i said those machines are rather slow all right but there we go okay nice and now we are able to log in so paste the password and hit log in oh we get a warning user account has expired okay this might happen sometimes uh, i used an older installation of process maker and there is an admin user and this user has expired so what we are going to do now in order to solve that we are going to access our machine uh, the php my admin uh, backend on our machine but this backend is not accessible directly you know something like um, like php my admin uh, sorry php my admin like you may know this okay there's you will get an error um, but this is kind of weird <laughs> actually um, you should just see you're not able to access the site because uh, in the PHP my admin only the local host is allowed to access so in order to do that we are going to SSH tunnel to our machine and uh, access PHP my admin through that SSH tunnel so we are local host and we can access it there is also a help file from Bitnami and telling you how to do that. If you run Windows, you're going to have to use PuTTY. Um, if you run Linux, um, it's much more it's easier. You just will need one command in the command line and that will be it. All right. So and this, this is the command. This will create an SSH tunnel on port. 8888 for this machine and you're going to have to provide your key file and again your server and ip address etc all right so we can just copy that command um, and actually exit uh, this right here just paste it so we're gonna need our ip address which is still right here nice Okay, um, and the key file was oh, process maker three something. All right, yeah, good, looks good. Okay, so that's it. And this is the normal behavior. If nothing happens, there should be an SSH tunnel open right now. <clears throat> and now we can try to open this web address. Uh, do it right here, so it is HTTP and basically we are trying to access our local machine but this is a ssh tunneled to our server and on port 8888 all right let's go and there we go all right and 
here it is not a username admin it will be the root and the password we have seen in the command line so again you're going to have to provide the password you have seen in the bitnami credentials file and user root and cross fingers and it worked yay now we can go to our process maker installation and search for there are two tables to consider i think it's rbac users and here we're gonna change the admin user and i this is it user due date i think we have to change this to something like i don't know something in the future right just pick a date oh i'm gonna go for that that should be all right and hit OK. And maybe that's it. There's another user table, but I think it's the RBAC users. All right, so go back to our login. Here it is admin and the password. And cross your fingers. Woo! And we are online. OK, so that's it, folks. Install process maker amazon aws and access via ssh and access php my admin <laughs> do some funding with the users and now you're good to go have fun